Okay guys, deficit deadlifts, very, very simple. We've got ourselves a nice little block here, whatever it is that you might be pulling off. Ensure that you have the measurement of whatever height you're pulling off because that's gonna be imperative to your training cycle as to whether we go higher or lower with it. The deficit deadlift is fantastic for teaching you to keep good postural position throughout the entire movement. Because we're lifting from a much lower position, we really have to hold form nice and tight through the initial portion before the hips can come through and we can start to utilize the, uh, the glutes a little bit more and the lower back a little bit more. So we've set ourselves up here. We're gonna go from our standard conventional pull, standing on the block. All I'm trying to do is basically have the exact same setup as my conventional pull with my foot stance, my hand positioning. The only difference is we just raised up a little bit. So hand's gonna go down on the bar. Obviously we're gonna notice now that we're having to go down a little bit lower than usual. So for that, I like to have the bar just a tiny bit further away from me in my setup position so I give myself room to get down to the bar. So from there, my hands are in position. I'm gonna take attention, slack out the bar, drop the hips down a little bit more than usual. Still trying to keep that chest nice and high. Still trying to put those shoulders back and down. Pull through. Nice control on the way down. Exactly the same thing again, tension out the bar. Lats nice and tight. Really gonna have to hold tight in those lats now. Tuck those hips through. One last time. We're in position, slack out the bar. Shoulders back and down, keep those lats engaged. Hips go down just a touch. Push that floor away from you. Hips through to the bar. And there you have it guys. That is your deficit deadlift.